Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday. It's like 69 degrees. We have another beautiful day. Did you all know that the seventh seal begins the second coming of Christ and the rapture? talks about this in 1 Corinthians 15 verses 22 through 26. The number seven is mentioned over 700 times in the Bible. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And on the seventh day, he rested. Seven is said to be a holy number. Animals were supposed to be at least seven days old before they could be sacrificed in biblical times. Seven trumpets will sound by seven angels. The seventh day is holy. There's seven horns, seven bowls. The seven, bowl, seven bowls are full of judgment that the angels will pass throughout the world. Um, so we have the seven angels. We have the seven fold spirit. We have seven candles. We have uh, seven times 70 um, the times that we are supposed to forgive our brother uh, a man named Naaman 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 dipped himself seven times in the Jordan River at Jesus command so he could be cleansed of a skin disease. There are seven colors in the rainbow. The eclipse will pass over seven cities with the name of Nineveh. Nineveh was destroyed in 612 B.C. by the uh, Midas and Babylonians. Jonah was a prophet that ran from God. He was ordered to prophesize against the wickedness in the city of Nineveh. He got on a ship and he was thrown overboard. And when he was thrown overboard, um, he was swallowed by a whale because he refused to do God's will. He was in the belly of the whale for three days and then he was released and let out at the city of Nineveh where he was supposed to do his work. Um, after the seventh day, April 8th, we will have 
a total eclipse. We have not had a total eclipse since 2017, which was seven years ago. Um, an eclipse is regarded as tokens of God's anger. You can read about this in Joel 3.15 and Job 9.7. Millions are expected to travel to see the eclipse and others will be stocking up on food and survival skills and they will bunker down in their homes and some will study the eclipse the eclipse will be four minutes of darkness if the eclipse lasted for too long, we would not be able to survive it. What is God trying to tell us? God is telling us that we need to transform. We need to change. And we need to have spiritual growth. I believe that this eclipse is a warning from God. This eclipse is happening right around Easter when Jesus was crucified on the cross to save us from our sins. But what do we do to repay him? We can't even follow his laws. We are in a state of lawlessness. We just keep on sinning and keep on living our lives and we have no regard for Christ. We just seen a rainbow three days ago. I think it was uh, Wednesday. Remember, the rainbow is a covenant between God and man. When he destroyed the world with water, he made a promise that he would not destroy the world with water again. The next time it will be fire. I want to leave you with uh, scripture. Second Thessalonians, the second chapter. And I also advise you to read the book of Revelations so that you will be aware of what is coming in the future and as always i love you take care i hope you have a beautiful weekend